Hi, welcome to another episode of MYD Global. I'm your host, Leanne hackman Carty. You know, where I live, we get snow, we get rain, sometimes we get floods, but we never get haboobs. Have you ever heard of a haboob? Well, if you haven't, you need to stay tuned as I interview Nancy Salover, who's an Arizona state climatologist, and she explains exactly what this strange weather phenomenon is. So stay tuned. Hi, Nancy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for agreeing to do this uh, today. Um, can you, before we get talking about our topic today, can you just tell, tell uh, everybody a little bit about yourself? Okay, well, I'm the state climatologist for the state of Arizona. And so a lot of what I do is provide data and information about weather and climate to people in Arizona. So I talk about monsoons and dust storms, our topic today, uh, all yeah. kinds of activities. Actually, so climatology, where do you go to school or where? what kind of training do you have to get to be a climatologist? Uh, climatology is essentially, the background is meteorology. So you learn about weather. A lot of the places, a lot of the universities have that in, some have it in atmospheric science and others have it in geography department because geography is the surface of the earth and that's very, very important to weather and climate. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Well, um, yes, our topic today is dust storms, or as I have read, haboobs. Uh, can you just tell me, I find the whole thing fascinating. Can you just tell me a little bit about what is a haboob? A haboob is a very large dust storm. Um, it typically comes with a, a storm event for us, a thunderstorm. It happens for us in the summertime when we have severe thunderstorms. We have a lot of dry areas. This is a desert, right? So these things happen in most of the arid regions in the, around the world. So along the Sahara Desert, in the Middle East, anywhere you have a very arid climate, you can get a wind that comes out of a thunderstorm and that wind picks up the dust and then just moves it along down the highway. So for us, a lot of the ones in Phoenix, they start in Tucson, which is about 90 miles away, yeah. and it picks up the dust and it just comes right up the highway and all the way up into Phoenix. Wow. And and so how common would these be? Like, do they happen every year or not that common? Or They do happen every single year. Um, they uh, they usually happen at the beginning of our monsoon season because once it actually starts raining a lot and we have a lot of water, um, that kind of holds the dust and the sand down. But early in the season, before we've had our rain, we have a very dry spring. And so the first thunderstorms that happen in late June, early July, tend to pick up a lot of dirt and we have these large haboobs. Can you, I don't know if you know this, but uh, what is a haboob uh, like an indigenous word or where does that come from? It's an Arabic word. And Arabic. so it's something that that was the terminology that was used over in the Sudan um, and the, along the Sahara Desert. And so back in 19, early 1970s, um, some of the scientists here picked up that word and decided that they would use that uh, rather than just call it a dust storm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, is there any way, so when you know, or maybe you don't know they're coming, um, whether you have a lot of time to prepare or not, is there certain things that, that residents there, as soon as they know, oh, Habub is coming, I need to do these things. So is there a way to kind of prepare for them? The impact? Um, well, <clears throat> if you have your windows open in your house, you want to close them up. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to get a whole lot of dirt and dust in your house. Um, your car, your, close your car windows, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. You have to be real careful about that. But um, the Weather Service can predict them because they can see them on radar. So they can see the, the, the wind moving the dust. It actually gets picked up on radar. So they can see it coming, and they'll give us warnings. Um, and so people know. But typically, they happen right around rush hour in the afternoon. And so it, it kind of creates a big traffic snarl because once it happens, that dust just is everywhere and it reduces your visibility significantly. And so you need to be very careful if you're driving. So do people tend to actually stop and then wait for it to leave or can you kind of negotiate through the storm and still um, drive? Usually you can still negotiate. Um, the, the haboobs aren't 
the, you, the visibility doesn't usually drop that bad that you can't continue to drive, but you do want to slow down because people's reaction times are a little slower and people kind of get a little nervous and more tending to hit the brake, that sort of stuff. Um, but it, it, you can see through it. A lot of people do stop, um, but you just need to be really careful when it comes. Yeah. Well, would you say that the, the dust storms you get in Phoenix would be the same type that they would get in the Sudan or other parts of, say, the Middle East or... or it's very common in the same kind of uh, it, phenomenon. It's, it's very similar, but the only difference I think probably is that we have more dust than sand. And so what they tend to have over there, there's a lot more sand and the sand are, is heavier particles. And yeah. so the sand, you know, it sandblasts your windshield and your car and, you know, takes the paint off your vehicle, that sort of stuff. We don't have as many of those kinds of dust storms, but every once in a while there'll be one in the, in the Southwestern U S that'll, Literally, the sand will kick up. If you're in an area with a lot of actual sand, it'll just it's just like sandblasting something. You just peel the paint right off of, of your vehicle. Oh, that might be good to exfoliate. <laughs> it, could, it could do that. But our typical haboobs generally don't have that kind of a, an impact. Yeah. Well, is there anything else before, before we uh, end that you'd like to share? Maybe even what you're seeing in Arizona. Are you seeing some weird phenomena other than the haboobs, or is it pretty much... Uh, you know, as normal. Uh, that's kind of normal. Haboobs are kind of fun. The other thing to note about the haboob is that they um, they typically only last maybe five to ten minutes. So this isn't a thing that goes on and on and on all day. So it's not yeah. that 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 big a deal. Just kind of wait it out a little bit and it'll disappear. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, Nancy, thanks so much for taking the time. I, I'm glad uh, you could shed a little light on what these uh, interesting dust storms do, because uh, I know I've seen a lot of footage on online about just seeing them come and, and towards uh, a community. And so uh, thank you very much for taking the time today. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.